Today, I'm gonna to show you proven marketing strategies to guarantee growth in your business in 2024. These are the exact strategies that I personally use to make over $10,000 in a single weekend. And I'm actually gonna show you guys why I stopped doing those strategies and implemented a slight tweak to those strategies that have made even more money. And then also how you can leverage the strategies I'm about to show you to grow a following on any platform. It's how I've grown my YouTube channel over 200,000 subscribers. You can use it to grow your Instagram following, your Facebook group following, and just overall make a lot more money for your business. So without further ado, let me jump onto my computer to show you guys step-by-step -step how to go through and make this happen and how you can replicate this for your own business to make a lot more money. Now, this presentation is from a three-day live workshop I did for the software company Go High Level. We had thousands of people in attendance, but I wanted to dive a little bit deeper right here on my channel and show you guys some behind-the-scenes things that I maybe didn't go into. And also, we did a lot of tangents on that training, so I wanted to go through and reshare this right here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to go back and watch day one or day two, just go back and watch the two previous videos that I released, and that will cover days one and two. And this is the third and final day, but probably probably my most favorite day because this is where all of the money is made. So the title of this live workshop was called how to get 100 to 200 leads per day for your SaaS agency. But honestly, you could insert any type of business there, your coaching business, your consulting business, your marketing agency, your software business, because I've leveraged this with a number of different businesses and it works literally every single time, right? So, and the best part about this is even if you have no following and no money for paid ads. And so I talked about four core things that you need to win. And day one, which is two videos back, if you wanna go click back and watch day one, I talked about specific audience and a rock solid off. And I know a lot of this sounds cliche, but I guarantee you it is different than what a lot of the other gurus talk about. And so we talked about the specific audience, nailing down that one rock solid offer. And then the last video, I talked about consistent lead flow, how we can get that lead automation and that organic lead generation really coming through. And then today, we're gonna to talk about the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up, guys. You can be generating hundreds of leads every single day, but if you don't have a dialed in follow-up and doing exactly what I'm gonna show you on today's video, you're really not gonna make that much money. You're gonna maybe make 10% of what you potentially could make. So kind of looking at this, this is the one simple sales funnel that we showed on day one. And if you guys comment yes down below, I'll actually hook you guys up with some free training and this free sales funnel and a lot of other free bonuses that I covered in this three-day live workshop. So just comment yes, and we'll hook you up with the link to be able to get all of that, right? And then we showed you on day two, the lead automation, how we're going through and generating tons of leads organically from social media, leveraging short form content. We have all the short form template scripts. I show you guys the exact step-by-step -step strategy to go through and make two years worth of content in just two days. So it's pretty cool, some pretty cutting edge techniques. But today, we're gonna to be talking about the follow-up because the fortune is in the follow-up. And if you've been in marketing for some time now, you probably heard it, but it's dead on, it's 100% accurate. And so what we're gonna be introducing today is what I like to call the viral loop. And the viral loop is a strategy that I've kind of been refining for the last five, six years, ever since I started my YouTube channel. And I've kind of just continued to refine it. And I feel like it's pretty dialed in right now. However, I'm always open to improvements. I'm always open to testing new things to make it even better. But I wanna share with you guys what has worked extremely well for me for the last several years in my business. So this is a quick little look at the viral loop right here. Okay, if you look on the far left, it all kind of starts with that traffic and that's what we talked about in the last video, the lead automation, generating leads, getting those eyeballs. And then we send them to an opt-in, a simple landing page like we showed you on that sales funnel earlier. Then we're presenting those people with an offer. And there's a number of ways to present people with an offer. You can do it through a video sales letter and just have them buy right there. You can have them go through a webinar. You can have them go jump on a phone call and make the offer. However, what happens if somebody does not buy right away, which statistics show 99% of people are not gonna buy right away. Maybe they're not ready, maybe you haven't built enough trust, credibility, rapport with them, and maybe the price point's a little bit hot, too high, maybe they gotta find out a little more information. And so what we need to do is we need to have a proven follow-up 
also built in with content, with solid content that's adding real value that's then gonna cycle this all back through. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into this. So this is kind of like a follow-up 101. Once you have a lead generated, so somebody's come to your landing page, they've opted in their name, phone number, and email address. Follow-up 101 is basically you wanna send out at least a few emails to get them going back to whatever the initial offer was. And then some people like to take this to the extreme and have a six month, one year, even two year follow-up. However, I think that's a complete waste of time because one of the most important things that I learned several years ago from a guy by the name of Ryan Dice, who is one of the founders of digitalmarketer.com, he's an amazing marketer, he said, prove, then automate, right? And a lot of times people just go through and create a two year long follow up because they can with these marketing automation tools, but they haven't proven anything. And so they're just going through and jump into automating. They don't know if those emails are actually getting opens. They don't know if people are actually clicking on the emails. They don't know if those offers are actually converting. And so they could take a month or two months building out this two year long automated follow up because they're thinking, oh, I get to sit on the beach, sip pina coladas, but it's actually not working for them, right? So that's why I like to stick to an initial seven day follow up series where every day for the next seven days after a new lead opts in, I'm sending them back to the initial offer that I presented to them um, after they initially opted in. And then obviously I have tags um, through marketing automation where if they go through and they take the offer and they buy or they sign up, then I'm removing them from this initial seven day follow-up sequence because I don't wanna continually be hounding them if they've already taken me up on that offer. But the question is, what happens after those seven days? Right. So quick fun story of how I made $12,000 in four days after this initial seven day follow up. So uh, several years ago, I was driving to a mastermind in Boise, Idaho with a good buddy of mine. We were both in the same mastermind. He was an expert in email marketing and I was kind of just doing my real estate CRM business. And so what we did is we had five hours to drive. And so we were kind of like offering advice to each other. So he was going through, breaking down his business. I was suggesting different things that he could try out. And then I broke down my business. He was suggesting different things that I could try out. So I was telling my, him about my business. I was like, yeah, I'm running Facebook ads to a live webinar. I'm selling a thousand dollar program. And then that's kind of it. I'm just doing that weekly live webinar every single week. And so we, he looked at that and he's like, okay, cool. Well, you know, how big is your email list now? And I was like, you know, it's kind of towards the beginning. So I was like, yeah, it's about 10,000 subscribers now. And he said, that's awesome. He said, what are you doing with the people that are on your email list that did not buy? And typical webinar and typical, honestly, sales just online in general, is you're gonna see about 1% of people that opt in and become leads that buy right away. And so I was p getting people to register for my webinar I do my webinar sales pitch and I get about one or two people for every hundred leads I generated. So I'd have 98 to 99 people that basically raised their hand. They showed they were interested because they clicked on my ad, they were registered for my webinar and a lot of people sat through this hour, hour and a half long training. But for one reason or another, they didn't buy. And so he said, you know what? You should go back and you should basically re-offer them or just send out an email to your list and see if any of them would be interested. And I was like, okay, you know, that sounds like a decent idea. So we went to the two-day mastermind event, came back. I went through, wrote up some quick emails, wrote four emails, sent them out over four days. And basically, I just invited everyone back to the same webinar to pitch the same offer that I had previously. The crazy thing is, is I brought in over $12,000 in just those four days by sending four simple emails sent to the same exact offer. Right, so cool thing, there was a really cool realization of like, man, this email list that I'm building, this is a massive gold line, gold mine, and I was not taking full advantage of the assets that I had at my fingertips. But unfortunately, I couldn't do the same thing every week, right? I couldn't just go back and email my whole list every single week to the same offer, to see the same thing, and so I got creative. And one thing I had learned about from also from Ryan Dice was the splinter offer. And so inside of my webinar, I was selling a $997 program and it was giving them access to our software that we were building. This is for real estate agents. And I was showing them how to generate buyer leads, seller leads, open house leads, all different types of leads, um, leads with Facebook ads, leads with Instagram ads, YouTube, all these different platforms. And so that whole program was $1,000. And I was like, you know what? And it was built in with like the software and some other done for you aspects. But I was like, you know what? What if I just splintered off? So if you think about a big block of wood, that big block of wood was my thousand dollar program. What if I splintered off one module, right? Just pulled off a little piece of that block 
and I sold that for $47, right? And I was like, I could go through and have like a different angle, and so it's not just always selling the webinar offer, but it could be like selling buyer leads, or seller leads, or Instagram leads, or Facebook leads, or whatever it might be, and I could go through and have a different angle and a little bit lower ticket to get more people in, and more people buying my products. And so I went through, you can see right here, I went and created all these different splinter offers, and the way I would set up the sales funnel, because I knew upsells and downsells, all these cool things were extremely valuable, and my ultimate goal was to go through and get people on my software at the time. So I would go through and I would say, hey, I've got the, you know, one weekend, I would say, hey, we got these buyer leads, you want buyer leads, buyer leads mastery, go through and get it's 47 bucks, and if they bought that, I would then present them with immediately after, hey, for only 47 more dollars, you can get the seller leads program. And then for $297, you can get our unlimited leads program. We're showing how to get even more leads, right? And then after that, I would say, hey, you know, get this software so you can go through and automate all of your lead generation, simplify everything so much more. So we go through and do that, that one weekend. And then the next weekend, we would just flip flop it. So instead of having buyer leads on the front end, we would now lead out with seller leads because there's some realtors that more want buyer leads and there's a lot of other ones that more want seller leads. And so ba basically creating these separate hooks are different entry points to bring people in to the core offer of the back end of getting the software. So if you look at these two funnels right here, this one leads with buyer leads, the second step is seller leads. This one leads with seller leads, then buyer leads, and then unlimited leads, and then get the software, right? And then we even switched up again. We did Instagram leads, then Facebook leads, right? And then Facebook leads, then Instagram leads. So we had all these different variations. We we're able to sell these lower ticket items to get more people in, generate more revenue, and be able to actually have like a lot better marketing budget to be able to pump more money into ads to get more people on the webinar and just funneling through our whole ecosystem, right? And by doing that, we netted nearly $10,000 every single weekend because remember, we're generating more leads every single weekend or every single week. And so we're going from a 10,000 email list to 11,000, 12,000. So every single week, our email list grew. And then we're also able to create new and different angles of the same exact offer. And that's something important to know is we're not going through and creating different products for all these different offers. It's literally the same product. We're just pulling out one module. And so we're not having to go through and recreate a whole entire product every single week. We're just doing the different splinter angles each week. And so we can go through and bring more people in. The only problem is, what is the number one goal when building a software company? And I asked this question on the live workshop I did with Go High Level, and there was a lot of just like question marks. People are just like, I don't know, what is the main goal when building a software company? The number one goal when building a software company that's gonna bring enterprise value, which is gonna bring peace of mind to you as the entrepreneur, is monthly recurring revenue. It is software signups. That is the beauty of software. Signing someone up for $100, $200 per month, and then knowing you don't have to resell them the next month because they're on a monthly software subscription. So every single month, you're getting new subscribers on and building that base, and so you're not starting at zero at the beginning of every single month, all right? So monthly recurring revenue, which is predictability, it's consistency in your business and where the real value and the multiples come from when you look to go sell your business, right? So this is the way I went through and actually simplified the sales funnel, simplified the follow-up. Um, even though I was making $10,000 net every single weekend, which if you look at that, you might be thinking, wow, Jason, that's like really good. That's really good money, which it is. But this was a better long-term strategy and this is also what I'm doing right now in my business as well. So the way I switched it up was instead of saying, hey, get the buyer leads training for 47 bucks and then the seller leads or the seller leads and the buyer leads, I would say, hey, get the software and then I'm going to throw on this bonus for free. So I'd be able to go through and get the software sign up. So now they're getting into a monthly recurring subscription and then they'd get these courses or templates or whatever I was selling, whatever the different hook or angle was that weekend as a free bonus, all right? So I just simplify this. I said, you want the buyer leads? Get the software. You want the seller with leads? Get the software. You want Facebook leads? Get the software. Instagram leads? Get the software. You wanna get leads with YouTube? Get the software. And so then it was all pointed to the software 
which yes, I wouldn't have as big of a spike in revenue every single weekend because I didn't have all the upsells and downsells, all that whole sales funnel stuff, but I was able to create more monthly recurring revenue on a weekly basis because I was pushing everyone to get the software. And I'm now doing the same thing as an affiliate for Go High Level. It's just my marketing and my messaging has changed slightly because now I'm not marketing to realtors. I'm marketing to people who are looking to start an online business, maybe it's a simple side hustle, start an agency, entrepreneurs. So I've got you know one maybe with a passive income angle, one with more of an agency angle, one with a no code software angle. So I'm hitting all these different angles based on what somebody might be interested in doing, but it all leads into the core software, which is gonna be able to allow them to implement whatever the angle is that I am promoting, all right? Now, what is the best way to promote? You might be looking at this, okay, cool, you got different hooks, different angles, how do we go through and actually promote this? What are we doing? What are we sending out to our email list? Well, the best way to do this, and this is what I've kind of found, this is something that I, I kind of discovered back when I was running my real estate CRM, and now I've really honed it in, and I'm doing this every single week, and I'm really seeing the data, the analytics, that are really supporting everything that I'm doing here. So what you wanna do is you wanna create urgency. Okay. Nobody takes action until there's a reason to take action, until there's some urgency involved. So what I do is on Friday, I'll introduce the offer, right? I'll send out one email to my list. So like, for example, if I'm going down the real estate route, say so like, hey, Buyer Leads Mastery is now open. Just letting them know, hey, here's the link. And you'll usually get some, some sales that day, but usually not a ton because like people are like, oh, okay, this is cool. Just open. I'm going to go jump in. I'm going to buy this, but not a ton. And then on Saturday, you're going to have like a reminder email. A lot of times I like to do a little case study here. Hey, you know, so-and-so did awesome with these buyer leads training. They use this software, cool, cool stuff. Go in and get started. And then usually that day, you're going to even see less sales than you do on day one on when you first introduce the offer. And then on Sunday, I'll usually have three to four emails. And I'm like doing like last chance, closing, deadline. This is your last call. We're closing this up. This ends tonight. Just different things like that where it's really creating that urgency. And that is where you're going to see literally 90% of your sales coming in is that last day. Because people are going to be like, oh man, they're going to have that FOMO, the fear of missing out. They're not going to want to miss out on this or want to make sure they get it. And so that's where you're going to see a bulk of everyone come through. And then one thing that's optional that you can do is you can have it not closed down. Like I usually will just close it down Sunday night at midnight, but you can have it closed down Monday, midday, because sometimes people on Sunday, they're not working, they're not checking their email, they're just kind of checked out with family. And so they might not see it till Monday morning. So what you could do is have it closed midday, Monday, and then do one last final call email at let's say eight or 9 a.m. just to kind of grab those last few people. And so that is the way I go through and promote this. But the only problem is if I'm doing the same thing, of sending emails Friday, Saturday, Monday, every single week, you kind of become a, a pushy, spammy salesman, right? And I didn't really want to go through and do that, even though it was working for me. I was making $10,000 every single weekend, but I didn't want to be like kind of viewed as that guy, just always just pushing salesy type stuff. And so this kind of leads into how I started my YouTube channel, right? And so this blueprint I told you guys earlier is that it's gonna allow you to grow an email list, which if you've heard the saying, the money is in the list, that is 100% accurate. I've kind of shared with you guys a few stories of how that actually is true. It's gonna allow you to grow a Facebook group, an Instagram following, a YouTube following, a podcast channel, a TikTok following, and most importantly, your business's revenue, whether that's a software business, an agency business, coaching, consulting, digital courses, whatever it might be. And this is exactly how I've grown my YouTube channel to over 200,000 subscribers. It's not because of any viral video or because I'm like really good at making videos. You can see here on this video, I don't do any crazy editing. I just share valuable content, right? So what I would do is I would go through and I would share a weekly value video. And then once I would release the video, I would email my list to push engagement, right? It was kind of like force the virality, it forced the engagement, force the watch time because people on my list, they maybe at least had an idea of who I was. So I let them know when I released the video. And then because it was getting more of that watch time, that engagement, people thumbsing up the video, comment on the video, I'd get a lot more of that organic growth, which would then fuel the viral loop that we were talking about earlier. Okay, so looking at this viral loop, 
We've got traffic, opt-in, offer, follow-up content, traffic, okay? And this is any type of content. I chose to go with the YouTube route because I don't mind making videos. I prefer making videos and writing a blog post or anything like that. Um, podcasts are great, but I hate relying on other people, um, scheduling issues, all that stuff. I just want to be able to be consistent and rely on myself to be able to consistent every single week. But you could write a blog if you're into that. You could do a podcast, a YouTube channel, Facebook group, Instagram following, whatever it is, to be able to go through and push people to that platform to add additional value other than just an email list. And so what I would do is I got to a point where initially I was doing value videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then I pulled it back to Monday and Thursday, and now it's every Tuesday. I try to at least have one new value video where I'm sharing everything step by step um, on my YouTube channel where I send out an email, say, hey, look, here is this new strategy that you're probably interested in because if you opted in initially, you were interested into this general topic, and so let me show you a little bit more of how this is all done, right? And so then what you can do is now that you're pushing e your email list to this value video, it's going to start ranking for the different keywords and search terms you're going after. So for example, like this one right here, how to start a digital marketing agency. Okay, it's gonna get you organic traffic. It's gonna boost your visibility, boost the number of leads that you're getting. And on those videos, in the description, as well as in the top comment, I have links back out to the original landing page that we talked about in the last video, right? So then now you're getting the awareness you're going through building the email list with that simple opt-in funnel, and now you're pushing people on your email list to this value video, and then it just kind of continues in this viral loop because they now watch the viral, the vir or they watch the video, and they might now be like, hmm, okay, Jason's legit, I understand, I like his stuff, I'm now gonna click on his opt-in again, I'm gonna go back through the funnel, I'm gonna go see his offer again, and this time, because I've built enough credibility, rapport, and trust with that person, they're now gonna take me up on that offer, right? And then on Thursdays, just to mix it up, I like to also send out a case study or a testimonial, letting them know, hey, this is so-and-so. They had all the success with this free program that you also can get when you get the software. And so then I say, grab the software here and you're gonna get X, Y, and Z bonuses and be able to get all the training that so-and-so got. And so now, if every single week they're getting a new case study, a new testimonial, they're now thinking, man, this person knows their stuff. Maybe the first week they're like, cool, that's a cool story. Then the second time they're like, hmm, that's really interesting. Then the third week they're like, wow, these case studies just keep coming in. And then the fourth, fifth, sixth week, and then after you keep doing it on a consistent basis, they're like, man, this stuff must really work and it's a free bonus if I just grab the software, I might as well jump in and grab the software, right? So here is my full weekly email blueprint, right? This is something you guys can literally just copy and paste for your own business. It worked extremely well for my real estate SaaS business, which for those of you guys who are brand new here to the channel, I grew that in six years, got over 15,000 paying clients before exiting that business. And now I am the number one all-time referring affiliate for Go High Level with nearly 30,000 referrals. And it's literally leveraging this exact blueprint, this exact strategy that I've been sharing with you guys the last three days. I like to keep it simple, but this is how I do it. Friday, I introduce the offer. Different, unique angle, kind of that splinter offer, but they gotta get the software in order to get those bonuses. Saturday, reminder email. Sunday, closing. Monday, you could do a last call. That's optional, right? Tuesday, you send a valuable piece of content, a blog, a uh, podcast, YouTube video, whatever it is, the medium. You can send them into a Facebook group for like a live workshop or live Zoom call that you want me doing. On Wednesdays, what I like to do is there's a feature that you can actually go through and resend to people who have not opened the email. So you send it out on Tuesday, maybe you get 30 to 35% opening the email, and people that did not open it yet, you resend, you change up the subject line a little bit to have a different hook to kind of pull in more people. And usually I can get about another 10 to 15% of people opening that email. So now we're at about a 40 to 50% open rate um, depending on the week and depending on the email, which is absolutely amazing when you're looking at email open rates. And then on Thursday, we send out a case study, a testimonial to prove that like, hey, yes, this stuff actually works. And then we loop back through the whole thing once again. And this is a way that we can keep it consistent and know exactly what we're sending every single week, every single day, get a daily email out there and have a reason to email. 
That is the biggest, most important thing is not just emailing your list, but having a reason to email your, your list. And so there's an actual why behind what you're doing. So every email should have a call to action to get started with the software, whether it's the valuable video, the value video, the value content, or it's the case study, whatever it is, you just leverage different hooks to maximize eyeballs on the same offer. We're not creating a million different offers right here. So basically the blueprint, if you guys have been hanging with me for these last three days, these last three videos, you want one daily short form piece of content. And if you watch my last video, I show you step-by-step -step how to go through and create that. You can create two years worth of content in literally just two days, very simple. Um, even leverage AI if you want to, and then have one valuable content per week. Cool thing about this, you can batch the content. You can have one recording day per month, you could shoot four videos and then schedule them out over the next four weeks. And so now you're just recording videos one day per, per month and you're not having to go through and stress every single week about like, oh man, what do I get posting? And then one testimonial or case study per week, one splinter promo per week, all leading to one simple opt-in pushing the back to the core offer, which is getting the software and then just rinse and repeat that, right? Be consistent consistency is key to this whole blueprint right here all right now i do have some giveaways and if you guys want some of these giveaways all you have to do is comment yes down below i'm going to share with you guys a private link to get 50 percent off the first three months to the go high level software and then i'm going to give you guys the sales funnel template clone that's from day one i'm going to give you my brand new ai SaaS agency course it normally sells for two thousand dollars it has all the bonuses that we've talked about in previous trainings, as well as the email follow-up templates, exactly what I'm doing step-by-step, -step, the short-form content scripts. And then also, for those of you guys who get started with high level with my affiliate link, I'll actually give you two additional bonuses. One is my affiliate Cashflow Academy, which shows you the exact blueprint that I've used to become the number one all-time referring affiliate for Go High Level that you can literally just copy and paste. I have helped seven people get to the top 10 leaderboard by using this exact template. I do not sell this anymore. It's only for my affiliates. So if you're you're like, I'm already signed up with high level, but I really want this. So I, I just, I don't sell it anymore. It's only for my affiliates. And the second thing you'll get is people know that I have a big background in real estate. I got over 15,000 paying clients for my real estate software business. And it's my real estate agency accelerator, which I'll show you guys exactly how I got my clients, how I fulfilled for those clients, how I scaled that business up. And so you guys will be able to have that exact blueprint as well if you're looking to go through and get started in the real estate space. And if you're like, man, Jason, that sounds really interesting, but I wanna get started with insurance or mortgage or chiropractor or dental, it still works, you just change up the messaging, but leverage the same simple strategies that I use in the real estate space. So if you guys want those bonuses, go ahead, comment yes down below this video, and we'll get you out the link that you can go through and get started with that, plus all of the free courses and bonuses and all that stuff. I'm just trying to hook you guys up so you guys can be as successful as possible with your own go high level business where you're going the agency route, the software route, coaching, consulting, digital courses. There's so many different ways to go through and build your business on Go High Level. And so that's why I'm such a fan of it. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're brand new here, make sure you subscribe. Um, we release new videos every single week, just showing you guys step-by-step -step what actually works in digital marketing. So with that said, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.